What should happen, I don't know, because it happens all the time. Two, three years before this, this problems with gas happened in the tunnel against the River Plate players. They got, um, uh, Boca was out of the tournament in semifinals, and they uh, couldn't play Copa Libertadores for two years. Now, you go the other way, this happens outside, but it's just a few blocks from the stadium, which River Plate is still uh, in charge of everything that surrounds the stadium, and they want to play the game again. They could never go back into that stadium and play, not even the next day. Can you imagine if Boca wins this game with everything that happened with the River Plate fans? It would have been, it would have been brutal. Um, it was like a war. There's so many videos that people are not seeing or can't see the things that happen after the game. Um, for me, they should give Boca Juniors the title and get River Plate out of Copa Libertadores for a few years and give them a big fine. That's the only way they're going to learn, and I think it's the. Uh, I think that would mean justice to this. A lot of people say play again on empty stadiums. That is going to be even worse. You got to return seventy thousand tickets, which most of them were well, not most of them, but a lot of them were stolen. And it's how it all happened. They found 300 tickets mm. on the number one uh, hooligan for River Plate in his apartment, plus $180,000. How did he get it? You can only get it through the club. And why wasn't uh, Boca Juniors' uh, bus uh, had better custody uh, two Please, blocks yeah. or a block away from the stadium? It's unheard of. So now they're talking about uh, giving armored uh, buses to the teams. It's, 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 it's crazy. But they're going to have to do something like that. It's just, it's so bad no matter how you look but, at but, it. What, is there, are, are there no consequences? Forget the club for the time being. Is there no consequences for those fans launching whatever they were launching at the bus? Yeah, I, mean, for, clearly, I mean, they were clearly on camera. They're on camera. They were caught the day after, and they were released a few hours within that. And that's what happened. Love to know who paid their bail. That's, that's... That's what everybody's asking. And, and, and it's very common in Argentina for criminals to go in just for a couple hours and leave for things that are a lot worse than throwing rocks at a, at a bus. Alejandro, do you see that as justice to hand this title to Boca without a second leg being played? Is that justice Look, for you? I, I, coming into this weekend, this was supposed to be a showcase event for Argentina football. Uh, it was supposed to be a party atmosphere for Argentina football, that these two historic rivals were going to be in this historic stadium for a championship that matters, Copa Libertadores. And, and the significance of that for, for both clubs, for both sets of players, for the history of Argentinian soccer. And yet the storyline became what Argentina is right now as a country and the struggles of Argentina as a country. Never mind, fans. Just the behavior of people and how this behavior reflects poorly on everybody involved. So for me, Conmebol and Copa Libertadores and River Plate and Boca Juniors and then AFA, the, the, the federation, they have to make a decision that is not based on dollars and cents. And that will be the biggest challenge because there are too many people in powerful positions that have an interest in this game going on. And so... To that end, how do you go about finding justice? It's difficult to find justice in an environment in which justice is very relevant.